Why hang power cleans? Today we talk about why should you do hang power cleans, the benefits of hang power cleans, and why the hang power clean is actually better for some people than the regular, regular power clean. So why should you do hang power cleans? There are a couple of reasons. One is that it allows you to work on the power clean technique. What does that mean? Well, you can break down the power clean technique into the different phases. As, we've, as I've outlined before in some of the videos, so the power clean goes through different phases. Start position, first pull, transition, second pull, catch and recovery. So if you have any difficulties in one of these phases, the hang power clean basically allows you to specifically train these phases and to kind of get you better technically at where you lack or where you have a technical flaw. So what does that mean? Well, let me make that a little bit clearer. So one of the things, I just pick one example, one of the things I see often is that, for example, if athletes perform the power clean, that they make kind of a hard contact with the leg and bounce the bar forward. Normally, that also goes along with a low contact on the side. So that from a technical standpoint, the contact is too low. That's why the bar goes forward and then all the following phases are a little bit screwed up and you have to jump forward to catch it and whatsoever or you kind of pull the arms back in order to bring the bar back to you because the bar goes out rather than straight up. So the hang power clean can help because you can for example choose to start with a hang power clean at the mid side position. Why the mid side position? Because this is where you should make the contact in an ideal world or with the correct technique. So if you, for example, struggle with making the contact too low, the hang power clean from the mid thigh position could be a corrective exercise for you to learn and get the feeling for where the right contact should be and ultimately clean up the power clean technique. So that was benefit number one. So the hang power clean can allow you to improve your power clean technique and to specifically choose the area where you have your technical flaw. The second benefit for me and for most people is the hang power clean shortens the range, the range of the full movement. What that means is you have to develop force and power more quickly, also named rate of force development, which is actually more sport specific. Again, this sport specific word is used in a broad range and sometimes misused in my opinion. Anyway, let me explain what I mean. It shortens the range and therefore you need to develop power and force more quickly, which is applicable to most of the sports because you don't have always time to generate force over a longer distance. You need to generate force and power quickly. So if you imagine you do the hang power clean from the hip, now let me, let me walk back a little bit so you can see that. So if you, if you have it here, so with a very little, with a very little hip bend, yeah, so there's not much time as, for example, from the ground where you can really lift it up and then get started. So you need to be ready from right here, quick extension and get under the bar. And this is also what you have to do in many sports. You need to react to a stimulus and then quickly either start, change direction, land, and again, get ready for the next action. So therefore, the hang power clean also makes it a bit more sport specific, if we want to use that word. Most of my athletes don't like that hang power clean for the reason that, again, you need to develop force more quickly. You have less distance to accelerate the bar which also results in you being able to lift less load. Yeah? But it's not always about the load, the total load you can lift. It's also sometimes 
about something else. So, for example, if you choose to do the hang power clean for power development and rate of force development, you need to sacrifice load in order to get something else out of it. More power, more rate of force development. So the third benefit of the hang power clean is that for some people, actually the power clean is difficult for the simple reason that they struggle to get into the right start position. Yeah, you need to have the bar on the ground and you kind of need, not, not kind of, you need to go down, get into the right start position to get the bar off the ground. So who has problems with that? Well, if you lack mobility, if your body dimensions are no, let, let's say not normal, they, well, they are normal, but for example, if you are a tall athlete, the taller you are, the more difficult it gets for you to get into the right start position. So not saying it's impossible to get into the right start position, it's more difficult. And sometimes what we face in sports is, if we're not talking about weightlifting, the athletes come to me two times a week, three times a week. So if it requires a lot of time for me to teach them how to get into the right start position, sometimes it's not worth the effort. So I much rather get them to do the hang power cleans from whatever start position they are able to do, above the knee, below the knee, whatsoever, and focus on a good technical execution, and either don't do the full power clean from the ground at all, or we use the hang power clean to train the power clean, the, the movement of the power clean, and work on getting into the right start position in warm-ups or in technical sessions. Yeah, so that's something you need to weigh up if you want to choose the hang power clean over the power clean because you're not able to get into the start position. But again, taller athletes have more difficulties to get into the start position. And it's always the question of weighing up, is it worth teaching and trying to get them into the right start position? Or shall we just say, we do the hang power clean from whatever position that athlete is possible to do and then focus on good execution and loading. So to wrap it up, why hang power cleans? Three benefits, I outlined three benefits. So one benefit is it allows you to learn the power clean technique and also to improve the power clean technique. So if you have any difficulties in any area of the phases of the power clean, first pull, first pull transition, second pull, catch and recovery, the power clean, hang power clean can help you to teach that position. In addition to that, if you start learning the power clean technique, also the hang power clean sometimes is easier to learn and therefore just one of the steps in the progression, if we think about a stream of progressions, is just one step of the progression in learning the full power clean technique and ultimately the clean technique. The second benefit, the sport specific application. So you have a shorter range, you need to develop force more quickly, which is force and power, so which is more applicable to most sports. And the third benefit, if you have bad leverage, I don't want to call it bad leverage, but disadvantageous leverage, and you struggle to get into the start position, the hang power clean into the start position of the power clean. The hang power clean can be a valuable substitute variation of the power clean. Yeah, so if we think about tall athletes, basketball, volleyball, any other sports you can think of that has tall athletes, for them it's difficult to get into the start position. And if we, if we get them into a hang power clean position from above the knee or below the knee, they are very often much more able to perform the power clean, hang power clean with a proper technical execution. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you did, you can come over to the website for every topic that I'm covering here. There is the video, so why should you go if the video, you've already seen it here. But there's an article to that video and that article is more in depth than what I'm covering here. As usual, if you like the video, like everyone else does, like the video below, leave a comment, whatever. If you don't do it, it's also okay. And if you want me to clarify anything that I have not covered in the video, please leave it as a comment. I do my best to answer it. And also, if you have any topics you want me to cover, you can also leave a comment and I will do my utmost best to 
cover it in a separate video. Thanks again.